The Mitsubishi manufacturer has released the latest car that is rumored to be undergoing an overhaul, one of which is the Pajero car in 2023. While it's not official yet, many reports suggest it will be the last edition. On the other hand, many speculate the possibility that the next generation Pajero will include the hybrid power trend. Mitsubishi will launch the final edition in the coming months with this version on its way to Australia and possibly the rest of the world. Even so, only 800 units of this car will be sold. Reportedly the design of the new Pajero 2023 will be redesigned. New Pajero Sport 2023, launched as a strategy Mitsubishi to compete with Toyota Fortuner. Emergence Mitsubishi New Pajero Sport 2023, this of course, makes Toyota Fortuner think hard to keep up with its competitors. Automotive companions, such as circulating information, Mitsubishi, launched new Pajero Sport 2023, with a more sporty concept design. Of course, this makes competitors especially Toyota Fortuner more scared and panicked. Other news circulating also mentions that Mitsubishi new Pajero Sport 2023 will come with more advanced features than its opponent, namely Toyota Fortuner. Can a 4x4 SUV present a compelling case for ownership, when only two of its four wheels are actually driven? That's the question posed by the Mitsubishi Pajero Sport, along with other rivals in this segment like the Isuzu Mu X and Ford Everest. All offer cheaper versions of their rugged, off-road capable, separate chassis SUVs, that ditch often complex four-wheel drive systems, in favor of simpler, cheaper rear-drive layouts. And it seems ample buyers are responding with an emphatic yes. But it does raise a bunch of questions and demand that you properly consider your real-world usage, before making what is, at the guts of it, a budget-led decision on a likely long-term purchase. After all, the Pajero Sport, which shares its engine, transmission and much of its platform with the Triton Ute, has been engineered from the outset to be capable off-road. Its ground clearance, approach and departure angles and tire choice are all intended to enable it to tackle terrain too gnarly for most unibody SUVs. Obviously, this compromises on-road performance. But what if your driving ambitions don't involve dirty weekends deep in the scrubber conquering inland Australia's toughest tracks? This third-gen Pajero Sport was first launched in 2015, and while it's been updated most recently in 2020, we want to know if it still stacks up when driving the rear rubber only. Or does losing the four-wheel drive system simply miss the point? Our seven-seater Pajero Sport GLS 4x2 on test here retails for $48,690 before on-road costs, which represents a saving of $5,000 over the four-wheel drive equivalent the GLS 4x4. Competitors in this segment also offering rear drive, include the just-released Ford Everest Ambiente at $52,990, and the Isuzu Mu X LSM, priced at $48,900, both before on-road costs. A Toyota Fortuner in GX spec is priced into this mix at $49,715 plus on-road costs, although it's four-wheel drive. The Sangyang Rexton, also four-wheel drive only, trumps all of these for standard equipment, and is keenly priced from $48k drive away. That's life as a challenger brand for you.